Hello everyone and welcome back to Lazy Local Collectibles. Welcome back to back to a brand new video. Um, today is Friday, so as usual I have a new car on the turntable. This time we have this um, Renault Florid for restoration. So let's take a closer look of this um, this, this week's restoration. So this is a Corgi Toys Renault Florid two, two, number 222. Two, two. And I always wanted to have this. Now I have it from uh, my uh, previous package. Um, looks like the windscreen has a slight uh, scratch in there. I don't know if it's a crack or not. But anyway, I think we'll, I, um, I tried to work on that one. But if there is a small crack, I will leave it as it is. Um, so I do like this car and I did look up on the internet. This was... Um, a design by an Italian man um, so it looks pretty good it's got three rivets and the full hebs so uh, not sure about pardon not sure about the tires they look all right actually this one feels a bit hard but the others I could take them off so yeah that one is a bit hard as well this one is better the suspension is really good on this one so I will take this apart, I will uh, drill them out and I will show you how does it look inside, how does it come apart. So let's see the Renault and as you can see I did drill all three out very carefully. So we have the suspension as you can see is riveted down by this uh, metal plate which I think I'm going to leave on and I will take the hubs off I think they will come off easy so I will try either this side or this side I don't want to touch them rods because anyway I cannot because uh, they are within uh, this bar here so so that I will take that off we have the very thin, usual um, Corgi interior. That's got a crack in there, but I don't mind. You can't see that anyway. Um, yeah, it's a bit bright, um, faded yellow, but that's okay. We'll have a, have a wash. And actually this one is got the rivet there, but it's not riveted in. Um, so yeah, this looks a bit, um, yeah, because it's been painted over. Uh, some some of the um, paint went on the windscreen as well. I want to see if that's a crack, but I don't see anything inside really there a little bit. So that might I might be able to um, file that out. So anyway, so that's the um, windscreen, and this is the chassis itself. I will drill these, and I will put the rivets in. So that's going to have a rivet, three rivets actually. No opening parts, which is good. You don't need to um, worry about that. So that's all the parts. So that will go into the paint stripper. So as this after the um, after I remove the hubs and the axles. Um, so it's detailing time, and uh, you will see in the next video clip again. I've done a cracking video. Um, yeah, I need to listen more carefully when I do the the recordings because. Most of the time, I think I'm recording and I actually just switched off the camera. So anyway, you got a little bit uh, footage of me doing the details. Uh, wasn't too many on this. Uh, I've done the taillights already, as you can see, and I'm doing the grills at the back. Uh, at the front, I've done the, f uh, the two headlights. And uh, after uh, finishing this one, I'm doing the um, bumpers as well. So I still carry on with uh, this grill and you will see in a minute that this video clip is cracking good. Uh, you will see nothing but I left a little bit so you can see what I've done really. Anyway, uh, till uh, we look at that I tell you that I, I've, I sprayed this car four times. Uh, here we go. So you see nothing now. Um, so this is what I normally do. I think I'm doing the... Um, video clip and I just do nothing I move the car I don't concentrate on the video clip I just concentrate on the car here we go at um, assembly time 
Um, so let's take a closer look quickly what we've done. Nothing with the interior, as you can see, is cracked. So I just cleaned it and left it alone, really. Um, yeah, the windscreen isn't perfect. It's got some issues, but they are so deep. Um, I just I just done my best. Um, this is the um, base, and I swapped the wheel, uh, the tires, put tires on, updated the um, um, wheels, and this is the body. Finally, I've done this three times uh, till I find the best color for this. So this is our Renault. This is violet red. So it's something like uh, something like uh, sherry red or something. I know it looks a bit uh, it looks a bit like um, um, orangey, but believe me, <clears throat> this is really dark red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put together the car. Um, I've got the rivets ready as well, three little rivets here. So I will do that and uh, put this car on the turntable. This is our Renault before restoration. As you can see, it's heavily overpainted, but all the parts are there. I did um, change the tires at the end and I did work on the windscreen, polished up the hubs and uh, painted the car four times. And this is our car after restoration. This is Sherry Red. And uh, I'm glad I, uh, I went through that four times painting process because I think it worked. Uh, the car looks fantastic. Our Renault is completed. I'm really happy. It looks fantastic. And uh, I wanted to just give you a look like this. It looks really good. I'm holding the camera in one hand. Um, it rolls fantastic. Um, I think um, it worth, worth the four times paint. Um, so I'm really happy with the car. Yeah, the windscreen has a scratch, as you can see, but I don't mind. Um, the state of the car before restoration was horrendous. So I'm really happy with this one and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if yes, please give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. It's still free. And please leave a comment down below. What do you think of this restoration or my previous ones? So thank you for watching this episode, guys. Have a nice Friday evening as usual. And enjoy your weekend. Uh, don't stress. Just relax, lay back. And watch Lazy Local Collectibles, of course. So cheers, guys. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Take care and bye-bye now.